Welcome to the Aerospace Museum here at Bristol. Today I'm going to be walking through both the historic and modern museums they have here on site. And of course the main attraction, the breathtaking British Airways Concorde. Let's get on with it and welcome to Bradley Penny Aviation. The Aerospace Museum here in Bristol opened its doors in October 2017. It's located north of Bristol itself and around about a 15 minute drive from the city centre. The museum itself was built right next to the former Filton Airport in a few refurbished hangars and is pretty big. Let's get a proper look around the museum section here. The museum contains over a hundred aviation artefacts, from historical to present day. It contains some famous war aircraft, the wonderful Britannia aircraft, the incredible Harrier jet, space exploration gear and even missiles plus so much more on top of that. Something pretty cool about most of the aircraft in the museum is that most of them were actually assembled here by volunteers. Or the more interesting side, for aircraft like the Harrier and the Type 173 is that they were transported by the RAF themselves strapped below the Chinook helicopters. Welcome to the modern section of the museum. It contains a fuselage of the Airbus A320, a wing of an A320, and a flight simulator of the A320. Also a full-size working prototype of a Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engine. A new addition to the museum is the RAF Eurofighter Typhoon flight simulator, which is a really cool addition. Time to go supersonic. Well, that was a full tour of the aviation museum they have here on site. Personally, I think it's fantastic. It even has the well-known Harrier jet and of course an A320 flight simulator and both modern and historic aviation artifacts. It's that time. Let's go and head over to the Concorde hangar. Welcome to the stunning supersonic queen itself, the Concorde. Let's take a look around. We'll get on to the history of the aircraft shortly, but before we do that, let's take a look around this masterpiece of an aircraft. Welcome aboard. First off, this isn't my first time on board Concorde. Of course, I've been up to the one in Manchester and of course multiple times here. However, every visit I'm stunned at how incredible this masterpiece of an aircraft this is. Whether it be how small the windows are, 
all the low and frustrating ceilings. It's always incredible. As well as the Concorde, they also have a dedicated Concorde Museum to the side. Let's take a full tour of it now. As well as the Concorde flight simulator they have here, I'm sure they could have picked a better simulator to represent this wonderful aircraft than FSX. However, there are also many historical Concorde themed areas to see. For example, the old seats throughout the years, and original crew uniforms and tableware. A surprise to many may be that they actually have a full working cinema here. Of course, they don't really show any real films. It's really cool though to see the Concorde. Back at the history of this specific Concorde behind me now. It's registered Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Foxtrot and its first flight was back in 1979 from Bristol Filton Airport and unfortunately was the last Concorde to be built. So unfortunately then made its final flight departing London Heathrow Airport at 11.30. It made a last brief supersonic flight carrying 100 British Airways staff over the Bay of Biscay then doing a magnificent flyover of the suspension bridge here at Bristol and then into Filton its final resting place. I've just been told of a new aviation exhibit here in one of the hangars over there. Let's go and take a look around. The conservation hangar here, as I said, has just been opened. It's where all of the aircraft which is soon to be displayed get recreated by volunteers. You may notice the well-known Bristol freighter in the background. It's soon to be reassembled and put outside on display in the coming months, so look out for that on your upcoming visits. Let's get ready for my final thoughts, but before that, we can't miss the gift shop. Well then, what a trip. That was the Aerospace Museum in Bristol. It's incredible, offering a very modern design and containing lots of historic and modern aviation artefacts. And of course, you can't miss the star of the show, the Concorde. What an incredible piece of engineering. Will there ever be anything else like it? So then, that was a quick tour of the Aviation Museum here at Bristol. Will I come back to it? Yes, of course I will. It's fantastic, offering so much to see and do. So then, thank you so much for watching to the end of this review. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment what you thought of it down below, and of course subscribe for future content just like this. That's all from me today. Take care of yourself and stay safe.